Good evening. The hunt for a murderer is underway tonight after a young woman was killed during a deadly brawl in a luxury apartment. Detectives locked down a city block and spent the day searching for clues outside the building. Inside this luxury tower, 56 floors up, a teenager's life ended violently. At street level, grief from friends after a fun night out in the city turned deadly. They'd rented a short-stay apartment in the building and during the night, a second group arrived. Neighbours knew something was wrong. I just could hear this horrendous screaming, but it's not unusual coming from this building. At 5am, there was an emergency call. Someone was stabbed. The victim was 19 and from Pakenham. Paramedics tried to revive her, but her injuries were too severe. Police took people from the two groups aside to get their version of events. Uh, the people who were at the party and at the group were of a similar age, so late teens, uh, early 20s. The crime scene stretches from the 56th floor of this building to the street outside and an alley opposite, where forensic police have spent hours looking for evidence. They dusted two cars for fingerprints, took jeans from a bin and photographed them. A rubber slipper was taken too. The building on a Beckett Street is a mix of residential and short-stay apartments. Those who live here are fed up with the behaviour of temporary guests. As residents, uh, we feel intimidated uh, that we're unable to ask them to keep the noise down or just act in, a, in an appropriate fashion. I mean, this is, this is our home. This is where we live. Live now to Blake Johnson at the scene. Good evening, Blake. What's the latest? Well, Jackie, police activity on the street has finished, but there are still detectives inside the building. I spoke to one a short time ago. He says they'll be here for some time yet. They wouldn't give us a physical description of the attacker, which might suggest they've got some fairly strong leads as to who they're looking for. There are posts online uh, for the victim. She's a 19-year-old South Sudanese Australian. The community understandably rocked by what's happened today, but those leaders in that community are calling for calm to not avenge this death and let police take their uh, course of action. They're also working with police to comfort the victim's family tonight. Jackie? Good evening. Melbourne's African community says it's deeply shocked after a young woman was fatally assaulted and left to die in a city apartment. Police are tonight hunting the group of young thugs who attacked the 19-year-old from Pakenham. Dougal Beatty reports. In the early hours of this morning, heavily armed officers rushed to reports of a fight on the 56th floor of a city apartment building. Inside, a 19-year-old woman brutally attacked and left to die. Absolutely tragic. I mean, the loss of any life is utterly unnecessary, particularly in these circumstances. Residents hearing screams coming from a nearby laneway in the hours before her death. I just heard this male and female voices and both screaming, but the louder scream was the girl screaming. It was horrendous. I think it's awful. I think it's awful. Twelve of the victim's friends were taken away for questioning by police after witnessing the fatal assault of the teenager from Pakenham. Police have arrived to what I'm advised was a fairly chaotic scene. There was obviously a number of people out the front. It would be fair to say that they were upset, obviously, and quite emotive. The friends had rented a short-term apartment in the building for a party when another uninvited group arrived and a fight broke out. There was some connection between these groups. All the persons that were present at the apartment, as I'm advised, were of African-Australian heritage. Today, the victim's family asked for privacy. African leaders releasing a statement saying, the community is deeply shocked. We are working closely with the family. This is a tragic incident that has cut a young person's life short. We will help law enforcement agencies with their investigation. Investigation. We are reaching out um, not only to the family but also, uh, I guess, the extended community of the victim. Forensics today examined damage to a parked car in a laneway, also focusing on a pair of jeans found nearby. The laneway will form a key part of the investigation. It's understood CCTV cameras were recording last night and will be seized as evidence. Investigators confident the killer will be found. The family of that young person is now paying a, a very serious price. Dougal Beatty. Nine News.